Pretty nice. We've only got uh, two more processes. So once I've laid up all of the material on this, uh, we'll cut it one more time per side. Should be pretty good. Just got some resin and mixed it with nail polish remover. So it's all done, sealed. I'm just going to wait for it to cure a little bit, and then I'm going to put this purple stuff all over it. Mixing some uh, West Systems uh, low density fairing um, for my wing. For my wing. So it's just sitting here in the old yogurt container. I'm just trying to get it real thick so that when I lay it on, um, it doesn't really run down. Alright, come with me. So this is what I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've got quite a few layers of MDF, uh, medium density fiberboard that we glued together. I couldn't quite afford to buy a whole lot of tool board or saber tool. Um, so literally this is the next best, best option. So we're just laying up um, this resin mix with the filler on there. And once it's all hardened, we're gonna go over it again uh, with with the router and that'll be the finishing touch so once that's done I will go hand sand it and polish it and then put on the wax and then we're gonna do what's called so this is a split mold so we'll close it and the, there'll be a balloon inside of it that expands and it'll press all the excess resin out and once uh, once that's all hardened literally we'll separate them and then there'll be a solid wing in there not a solid wing the hollow wing a very strong one so yeah, we'll just go and apply the stuff into some areas that I think needs it so that tomorrow we're ready to go. So all I'm doing is there's some little ridges. You probably won't see them on the camera, but I can see them. And that'll just help uh, when I machine them out. So there's just a couple of areas that I think that it needs. There's just like ridges through there and there. So I'd say we've probably got another two weeks because me and my partner are going away uh, for a birthday and so by the time we get back it should be all properly cured and there will be no um, inter interlocking um, with the, the resin and the new resin that will be put on there but we'll seal it with some, some wax a surface. Um, mold release agent Should be hardened off by tomorrow. Maybe we'll have it machined by the end of the week. Mm -hmm. Getting that last little bit out.
So this wing is what I wanted to uh, put on Kickstarter. So I wanted to get some funds to get the, to get the proper materials so that we could build, like instead of making it out of MDF, we just make it out of toolboard, which is like the fancy stuff. And then the next level after that is just a solid block of aluminium so that we could, it could be heated and it could be like done and cured in an hour's time if you heated it with the element. But this is all we got for now. Um, so hopefully I can make a couple and get them on the market so that we can start selling them and getting them on people's cars. These are the arms that I designed. This is this is the not the finished one, but this is like a version two. I think I've got a version four. But literally, you could change the angle of the wing, um, so that's at the highest angle. So usually, it's on the top one there. Uh, that will change the angle of the tack, and this is the mounting that's mounted to the the rear trunk. So these are similar to the big country lab ones. Um, I took inspiration from them, but you know I literally had to design the majority of it myself. Um, these are the small end plates, and that's what's going to be mounted inside of the wing. Um, it's just a bit of aluminium. I think it's maybe five mil, and so these are these will be adjustable. You know, because uh, when you change the the angle of the tap, you want to adjust the end plate as well. And just some of the stainless steel hardware, just rounded cap screws. Uh, and yeah, this is the rest of my junk that I'm making at the moment. I'm making an aluminium subframe, so this is half of the project. So this is for the NSR 250 MC21. And these are some alloy bits for the Hilux, for the tray, because I'm going to make an aluminium tray. So yeah, it's all coming together. It's been a few months actually. But we're finally getting some traction. Hopefully we don't go into lockdown again because that could be on the cards. All right, so I was finished. So for the wing, uh, I got the shape of the 180SX and we basically sat the wing on there. And this is just to see if the, the wing would, you know, the, the, the drag and uh, the lift or the negative lift that it will produce so this shows you know what it's actually doing and the boundary layer through there the low pressure and the other section in here which is where it starts separating and there's another boundary layer through there so if I make that transparent you can see what the wing is doing and the different pressures. So that's what it's looking like. I'll just change what, um, instead of little arrows, we'll go with the pipes. And what I might do is I might just make them a little bit more, um, maybe just a little bit more bigger. And probably a little bit more of those. So we're gonna go. So we'll press play, see what it looks like. So that's just from that elevation. And just from a sideways perspective. And then if we want to see what the, the back of the car looks like, this is it here. So you can see the, the vortex created towards the ends there, and then coming up through the back. 
So you can see the, um, the CFD of it and what it's doing right there. And what we want to do is reduce the drag and have like a good ratio of drag and negative downforce or negative lift I should say so that you got good traction um, when you're on the road. So this is adjustable. So this is what it will actually look like. Um, you know, you can have it set on any setting. There's four settings there. There could be more settings, but like, um, I didn't think that anyone would run at any higher than that, because if you look at it, that's quite, quite an angle there. So you'll keep it at that angle for now. So that's all we got for today. Um, we have to wait for the resin to cure. So hopefully we can start the program on like late tomorrow afternoon or Friday morning, um, cut the panel out and we'll leave it over the weekend to cure and probably attack it on Monday. So uh, stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Peace out.